Okay, that's illegal right there. What up guys, welcome back. We are meeting up with R7 Kevin today. If you don't remember Kevin, uh, he was in the video where he buys an R7 from the dealership and I wrote it home for him. So you, a lot of you guys have not seen him since that video and you've been asking me, well, where's Kevin? What happened to him? Is he alive? Is he dead? Is he doing good on the R7? Well, guess what? He doesn't even have an R7 anymore. In fact, today he went to the dealership and he traded it in for guess what team green kawasaki zx6 nice not this bike this is my bike the zx10 but he just traded in for a zx6r and he is on his way here right now to show us the bike so i am really excited to see what he thinks of it basically he loved the r7 great bike but he wanted a little more and I totally get that because the R7 does lack a little bit and it leaves you wanting more. So now that he's comfortable, I actually let him ride my ZX10 and he was blown away and he was like, damn, I need more power, but ZX10 is kind of too much. So he went in and picked up a ZX6. I believe it's a 2023 ZX6. He got a really good deal on it. It was a trade-in. It's got super low miles. He didn't have to pay dealer prep or any of that bullcrap fees so he got the bike for honestly a steal i told him jump on it as soon as you can but don't hesitate if you're thinking about wanting a four-cylinder sport bike just do it zx6 is great bang for your buck so we're just gonna hang out and uh wait for him he should be here any minute now and i can't wait to see the bike I i'm excited actually i've never ridden a zx6 so i wonder if uh <laughs> he'll let me take it for a spin maybe one of these days i'm not gonna ask him today because he just got the bike so I won't bother him yet, but uh, it would be cool to see the difference between a 600 and, you know, the ZX-10. What's up, Squids? Thanks for watching the video. We have new merch at professionalsquid.etsy.com. Go check it out. Here we have the black Gapplebee's tee. Pizza on the front. Take them to their favorite restaurant. We also have crew neck sweater options. Perfect for those chilly summer nights. They're lightweight. You could put them in a backpack. Here we have the Gapplebee's version in tan. Same thing. Pizza on the front. Both of these come in tan and black. We also have another crew neck. This says professional squid club on the front. Chase your fears, not your wheelies on the back. We have so many other options, so go check them out on the website. And let's get back to the video. Uh-oh, look what we got here. Our <laughs> 7 Kevin alive and in the flesh. He is not dead, but he does have a ZX6R now. Wow, look at this baby right here. Oh, so shiny. You wouldn't even know this was a trade-in. This looks like a brand new bike. I mean, it essentially is, Pretty right? It's got 100 miles on it. <laughs> wow, gorgeous. So I gotta ask, what, what are your first thoughts? Off the rip, first start, thoughts, first ride home, first time on a 600, right? Yeah. You don't feel that much difference in the weight definitely feel a difference in, in the power, power. Yeah. yeah even in low yeah. power mode breaking it in you still feel it yeah <laughs> you love it so yeah it's really nice you made the right choice definitely 100 <laughs> let's take this muffle we, off we love to hear it <laughs> exactly literally uh he told me to meet him here so wow. that we can take the muffler off like asap um the cat is actually below like in the bread box down here right or well i guess yours isn't as obnoxious as mine probably yeah. is uh, I think it's back you here. can see it more. If you yeah, back. yeah, in there. So we're actually gonna pull the muffler off and get a little <laughs> volume out of this thing. Absolutely. And the dealer said, "Don't worry, it won't void the warranty. We're good with that." But uh, dude, I love the color. Right? I love it. It's different. Yeah. No, it's nice. I have seen this color before, but just seeing it again, like it, it's it's nice. I don't it know really. They made this color. I think it was 2022 and 2023 only because the new ones, the 24s okay. only have three colors. Okay. I, think I, I, I mean, I love it. It's, it's got some character to it. Not that I didn't like your R7. Like, the black was clean, no, but it was a great bike. it's nice to it. change it up. For a starter bike or someone who has experience with dirt bikes and yeah, you know, yeah. using the clutch, it's a great it's a great bike all around. You, you could keep it, you know, for a long time if you don't want a little more power. So it's nice to know even if you don't use it, you have yeah. it on tap, you know, and that's what I was looking for. Yeah, well, I, I said in the, my intro video, actually, that I let you ride the ZX-10. 
and you were like, damn, <laughs> I need more power. He was already thinking of getting another bike, yeah. and then I let him ride the ZX-10, and I think that kind of helped, you know, it did. <laughs> turn the wheels a little you bit know. and put this in motion. It's insane, don't so. get me wrong, but I do a lot of commuting, and for me, this is a better option. Yeah, honestly, I, I'm, I'm happy you went with this. I think the R7 was good to, for you to learn on, but you're gonna love this. I mean, you could keep this for a long time and never get bored of it. I do really like this dash too. I almost like this better, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I kind of like having the, the needle. I like the bigger tack. It is really nice. It did a good job. And it's got everything you need. Right? <laughs> Still got, got your, your launch key. Yeah, you know, yeah having a fuel cage is, is just game, the, game changing. The new 1000s have a fuel gauge. I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. And for me, for... Commuting uh, and stuff, stuff, yeah, yeah it's, like it's, it's nice to have it. No, for so, sure. And you probably haven't even really opened this thing up yet, and no, I'm no, sure I'm it's trying, got... You know, I'm trying to go easy. You know, yeah. There's actually some traffic on 95 on the way back. That's so actually good with braking. It me to work through all the gears. Yeah, <laughs> that's better for braking than yeah. just cruising on the highway. Oh, no, definitely. on the ZX6 and just doing a couple little mods, some tasteful mods, things that you gotta do when you first get a bike. And I'm sure Kevin's excited because the bike looks a lot better. We did the uh, new Rage Cycles fender eliminator with the turn signals right here. Really clean it up, turn that on for you and show you guys. Good, there you go. Left, right, there's the turn signals, cleaned it up, tucked the plate a little bit. And then the big thing we did is we removed the muffler or the stock muffler so this is what it sounds like no muffler go ahead start it up first start actually this is our first reaction okay oh shit <laughs> hey i did not think it was gonna be that loud i told you wait that's actually pretty loud that actually sounds really good <laughs> we'll see what it sounds like when it's like actually warmed up but damn you could kill it wait that actually sounds really good <laughs> that's actually Look exciting how big this thing is, dude. yeah that thing's a cannon oh. yell through it let's see if it muffles your voice you <laughs> it's close oh <laughs> he's got the got the flat yep Wow, okay. Actually, this thing sounds pretty sick now. That's a really big difference. I didn't think it was gonna be that big. So yeah, I mean, we're just gonna finish it up. We might throw like a frame slider on it real quick and then we're gonna take it for a ride and, and see how it is. But I mean, it looks significantly better with oh, yeah. just that fender eliminator. Oh, and we did do a um, servo buddy. Servo buddy for the actuator. Yeah, lines. yeah. So we, we took the cables out and honestly, we just cut them because like, who cares? I will say the ZX6 was easier to work on. And one really cool thing about the ZX6, which I didn't know, is that you can use the key to take off the main seat and then there's a little cable you pull and then the passenger seat comes off, which is really easy. Whereas the ZX10 is a little more of a pain. You use the key to take off the rear, but then you gotta like finagle with this thing here to get the, the main seat off. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, I'm really liking the ZX6 so far. Right? I mean, I really think Kawasaki is just killing it. It's so easy to work Anyone who hates on Kawasaki must have never owned one. Because... Working on this compared to the R7 is 10 times easier. Yeah, that was so that was so easy the to do. The fender eliminator on the R7 took me, no joke, no exaggeration, three hours, at least. Yeah, that's wild. And we did a fender well. 20 minutes. You know, obviously Kevin doesn't work on a lot of stuff, so he's not super experienced working on bikes, but like, still. Like it's gonna take any even experienced person a while to do it on the R7 because you have to strip the whole bike. Whereas this, it was like, what, six bolts? Yeah, and, and it was out bolts. and then unplug some things. Screws, so let's take her for a test ride. <laughs> Right 
now? Yeah. It doesn't tell you on the screen? It does, yeah. flashing in sixth gear. It comes on before you hit red line anyway. Oh, okay. Well, because I saw light, it backed off. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Yo, this is riding a sport bike now. <laughs> this is the legit. The R7 did not do that. No. No, this thing will open up nicely. The R7, like, on the highway is kind of just, man. Completely. It falls wow. on its face, yeah. Yeah. Nice rev. Hell yeah. I think it sounds good. I can't believe how good it sounds just deleting that. How does it feel to have more power? <laughs> I'm getting the hip thing. <laughs> Is it comfortable it too? Like, how does it feel yeah. actually riding it? It's more comfortable than the R7 by a long shot. Wow. Really? Yeah. Less less aggressive. The R7 was a full tilt. It forward. is aggressive. Ooh, what is that? Ferrari. Yeah, the R7 is very aggressive. For like no reason. I get it might be good on a track, but yeah, if, good. With a slight twist of this throttle, I would do what the R7 would do absolutely. Yeah. Did. Yeah, like the, I think the the R7 is good for like that low end power on a track you know something that's tight yeah, of course that little grunt, the grunt coming out of a corner yeah but like for more open road i think a 600 is a better option and actually after seeing you own the r7 to be honest if someone were to ask me like what should they get as a first bike i'd probably just tell them just go to the 600 probably waste your time getting the seven the r7 yeah. or an fz you know mt07 yeah. or whatever uh, you I might agree. want more power if you if, if you can control it and you've always been good on two wheels like you've been fine on bicycles dirt bikes like growing yeah, up you had bikes, that experience you know quads all that shit yeah insanely loud pocket bikes with no exhaust on them yep. Yep. <laughs> so it's like for you it was easy but somebody who like can't even ride a bike yeah, I mean, no, you know you should be getting like a ninja 250 or something. Yeah. I love yeah. the way the ZX6 sounds. It's a great sounding Me bike. Too. I've been in love with this bike for a long time. It's a high pitch. Yeah. 16,000. The 600s have, a, have a higher pitch than the 1000s. Great Because the 600's fun for like, like if I was to track a bike, I would want to track the 600. This is a pig. My shit just died. What the fuck? Wait, what? It just shut off? Yeah, I went to go give a gas with the clutch and it just died. Yeah, so give me your final thoughts, final reaction for the video. Oh, man, it's everything you think of when you think of the sports bike.
season on it, you did a whole year, you put some mileage on it, you learned, you got yep. comfortable. Learned the fundamentals, did it the right way. Even though I had the experience, started out on something a little smaller. And uh, I'm glad I did because it paid off. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Well, hopefully the channel will see more of R7 Kevin, who is now ZX6 Kevin. We have to think of like a catchy name for him. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.